Hello students, we are uh, resuming the sessions of blockchain technology after uh, Diwali uh, vacation. Hope that uh, you enjoyed the or you celebrated Diwali uh, with your family members. Uh, so we are studying the unit third uh, in that we have to study the different protocols for permission. Uh, blockchain network. Uh, so this Paxos is one of the protocol uh, that we have to study in this uh, session. So this is the syllabus of unit 3rd uh, which is related to the permission blockchain. Uh, in that uh, we have to study different uh, consensus models um, for permission blockchain. Uh, these consensus models are uh, Paxos, RFT, uh, then Byzantine fault tolerance system, Lampert, uh, Shostak, uh, Fish BFT algorithm, and BFT or asynchronous systems. Uh, so, in this session, we are studying the uh, Paxos uh, protocol. So Paxos is a family of protocols for solving the consensus in a network of unreliable or uh, fallible processors. Uh, this protocol uh, is for solving the consensus problem uh, in a network uh, where the nodes can uh, fail. Uh, so consensus is the process of agreeing on uh, one result among a group of uh, participants. So we know uh, in previous uh, sessions uh, we have studied what is consensus. It is the process of agreeing, uh, agreeing on some uh, state of the machine uh, that we have studied. Then in previous session we have also studied the state uh, machine replica replication. So we are starting our sessions after 15 days. So I request to all student, uh, students uh, you go through uh, some of the previous uh, sessions uh, so that you can understand uh, what is consensus mechanism. Uh, what is permission blockchain, what is state machine uh, replication. So this is the prerequisite uh, for understanding this Paxos uh, protocol. Uh, so consensus is the process of agreeing on one result among a group of uh, participants. Uh, so the, uh, this consensus problem uh, becomes difficult uh, when the participants or their communication may experience uh, failures. When the participants can fail, uh, when the communication links can fail, uh, then achieving um, the consensus among the group of uh, nodes, among the group of uh, participants is a difficult uh, task and such protocols are used to maintain a set of stateful uh, replicas, set of, set of uh, consistent uh, replicas over all the uh, machines. Uh, so which executes uh, the same set of requests in the same order uh, deterministic, uh, deterministically. So in previous session we have studied uh, state machine replication. So I request to uh, you uh, please uh, listen that session first. Uh, so there are as this is the protocol uh, Paxos uh, for uh, distributed consensus uh, in closed environment or we can say permission blockchain. Uh, so, uh, we will not go into the history of this uh, protocol. Uh, we are focusing on uh, only protocol uh, and not uh, rest of the things. Uh, so, uh, for this protocol, uh, in order to understand this uh, protocol, uh, protocol, this Paxos protocol, uh, there are some assumptions, uh, definitions uh, that are made explicit and uh, it is necessary to study this assumptions before understanding this uh, Paxos uh, protocol. So there are some assumptions regarding the processors or we can say nodes uh, for this Paxos pro uh, protocol. Uh, so nodes or processors operate at arbitrary uh, speed. Nodes operate at different speed and this is one of the assumptions. Nodes may experience failures. Nodes may fail uh, in the distributed environment or you can say in blockchain. And nodes or processor with stable storage uh, may rejoin the protocol after the uh, failures. Uh, nodes may uh, recover from the failures and they can rejoin the uh, network, uh, they can rejoin the uh, protocol. Nodes or processors do not collude, uh, lie or otherwise attempt to subvert the uh, 
uh, protocol. So these are some assumptions, assumptions uh, related to the uh, processors. Then next assumption is related to the network. Uh, nodes or processors can send messages to uh, any other processor. Uh, messages are sent asynchronously and may take arbitrary uh, long time. Uh, the uh, the nodes may take uh, the network may take long time to deliver the uh, messages. Uh, messages may be lost. Messages may be reordered. Messages may be uh, duplicated. Uh, messages are messages are delivered without uh, uh, corruption. Uh, so these are the some assumptions related to the network uh, for this uh, access protocol. Uh, then there is assumption uh, related to the to the number of processors uh, in Praxis, Praxis pro, uh, protocols. As we know that there may be some faulty nodes, some nodes may fail. Uh, but there is some requirement about this number of processors or faulty processors uh, uh, for this Praxis protocol. Uh, the requirement is that number of non-faulty processors must be strictly greater than the number of faulty uh, processes. So number of uh, uh, the number of uh, working processes uh, uh, must be greater uh, than the uh, non-faulty processes. Uh, this is the uh, strict requirement for this uh, protocol. The number of non-faulty processes, mu processes must be uh, strictly greater than the uh, number of faulty uh, processes. So these are the requirements of this Paxos protocol regarding the uh, processor and uh, network. Uh, then uh, uh, there are nodes, there are processors and uh, the processors uh, or nodes have different roles uh, in Paxos protocol. Uh, so Paxos describes the actions of the processor, uh, processors or you can say nodes by their roles in the protocol. Uh, so the uh, nodes or processor play the different uh, uh, roles in the Paxos protocol. Uh, nodes may become client, node may be acceptor, proposer, learner. Uh, leader and then there is a quorum quorum is a uh, group of nodes uh, group of accepted nodes uh, so uh, nodes may change their role uh, uh, but uh, if the nodes uh, change their role uh, that does not affect this uh, Paxos protocol so in typical implementation a single processor or single node may play uh, one or more roles uh, more, more uh, roles at the uh, same time in the Paxos protocol. Uh, so uh, there are different uh, nodes uh, that play the different roles. Uh, these roles are client, acceptor, proposer, learner, leader. Uh, so we will see uh, the roles of these nodes one by one. The first uh, type of node is client. Uh, the client issues a request uh, to the distributed system and waits for a uh, response. Uh, so for instance, a write request on a file in a distributed uh, file server. So uh, the basic aim of this uh, Paxos protocol is to propose uh, some value. Uh, in distributed consensus mechanism, we uh, know that some uh, all the parties agree on uh, some state of the system. They agree agree on the uh, some value, and uh, uh, this uh, client client issues a request to the uh, distributed uh, system uh, and waits for a uh, response. So whatever the uh, request is uh, issued by the client, uh, so all the nodes has to verify that request and all the nodes has to accept that uh, request. So how that uh, request is accepted, uh, that is nothing but the Paxos protocol. Uh, how the nodes will come to the agreement, uh, how the nodes will agree on some value, uh, that, that we have to study in the uh, Paxos protocol. Uh, so this is the client uh, that may issue a request to the distributed system and waits for a, a response. Then second type of uh, uh, nodes in the Paxos are acceptor. acceptor. Uh, the acceptor act as the uh, fault tolerant memory of the protocol. Acceptors are collected into groups. The acceptors are uh, collected into the groups and that group of acceptors is called quorums. And any message uh, sent to an acceptor must be uh, sent to a quorum of acceptor. Uh, so whatever the message uh, the client will send, uh, that message will go to the group of acceptors and that group of acceptors is called quorum. And any message received from an acceptor is ignored uh, unless a copy is uh, received from each acceptor in a uh, quorum. Uh, so quorum is the group of acceptor. Uh, 
सो द एनी मेसेज रिसीव्ड फ्रॉम एन एक्सेप्टर इज इग्नोर्ड अनलेस ए कॉपी इज रिसीव्ड फ्रॉम ईच एक्सेप्टर ईच मेंबर ऑफ द कोरम एंड मेंबर ऑफ द कोरम्स आर एक्सेप्टर्स देन थर्ड टाइप ऑफ नोड इन द पैक्सेस प्रोटोकॉल इज प्रपोजर ए प्रपोजर एडवोकेट्स ए क्लाइंट रिक्वेस्ट प्रपोजर विल ट्राई टू प्रपोज ए सम वैल्यू and all the nodes must agree on that value so how that nodes will agree on some value uh, for that purpose there is a paxos protocol other protocols are also there but we are studying the paxos so proposer a proposer uh, advocates a client request uh, attempting to convince the acceptors uh, to agree on it the uh, this proposer uh, advocate uh, the client request and it will uh, I try to convince all the acceptors to agree on that value whatever the value is uh, proposed uh, by the client request uh, whatever the value is proposed by the client and uh, this proposer acts as a coordinator uh, to move the protocol forward from uh, forward when the conflicts occur when the conflicts will occur in the protocol uh, this will act as a coordinator uh, in the protocol this proposer uh, then learner Uh, learner as uh, acts as the uh, replication factor for the protocol uh, so once a client request has been agreed upon by the acceptors uh, so we know that uh, client will request client will propose some value uh, then there is a proposer node uh, that will uh, uh, this proposer will send uh, this value uh, to the uh, to all the acceptors acceptors either uh, accept that value or either reject that value and uh, once a client uh, request has been agreed uh, upon by the acceptors and when the uh, acceptors will accept the value the learner may take the action that is uh, execute the request and send uh, send a response to the uh, client uh, so to improve the availability of the processing additional learners can be added so in this blockchain uh, this learners will maintain the copy of the blockchain and uh when uh, that uh, copy will uh, that uh, request will be accepted uh, by the acceptors uh, that uh, value that new value will go to all the learners and learner uh, will update their uh, copy so this is the meaning of this uh, learner so to improve so this uh, learners will replicate uh, they will maintain uh, each will maintain the copy of the uh, uh, pro uh, blockchain we can say in this Uh, permission blockchain and to improve availability of the processing uh, the additional learners can be added we can add, add the additional learners in the paxos protocol uh, then there is a leader uh, leader requires a distinguished proposer uh, this leader is al also called proposer to take uh, to make the progress and many processes may believe that they are the leaders but the protocol only guarantees uh, guarantees progress if one of the one of them is eventually Are chosen when the one of the uh, one of the uh, node is uh, chosen as the uh, leader. So quorum, as we know that quorum is a group of acceptors, and uh, whatever the value is proposed uh, by the proposer, uh, that state of the system will go to the uh, all the acceptors. Uh, that uh, group of uh, acceptors is called a uh, quorum, and uh, the reply, the accepted reply must be received from the all acceptors and if all the acceptors will uh, all the acceptors in the quorum will accept that value uh, then the st uh, state of the system is uh, finalized in this uh, uh, paxos protocol uh, so uh, proposal number and agreed value uh, so each attempt uh, what is the role uh, main uh, purpose of this uh, paxos protocol to propose a some value v uh, so each attempt uh, to define an agreed value v is performed with proposals uh, which may or may not be accepted by the acceptor so proposers will try to propose a value and that value will send to all acceptors acceptors will either accept that value or either they reject the uh, value Uh, so each proposal each proposal is uniquely identified for a given proposer each uh, proposal is identified by a number uh, for example each proposal may be of the form uh, n uh, n and v each proposal will contain two values n and v wherein n is the unique identifier of the proposal uh, each for each proposal uh, each uh, proposal unique uh, number is given and v is the 
actual proposed value uh, so v is the value that we are going to propose uh, new value and all the acceptors must agree on this uh, value in this paxos protocol uh, so the value corresponding to a numbered proposal uh, can be computed as the part of the running uh, paxos protocol So there are some properties of this Paxos protocol, safety and uh, liveness properties. In order to guarantee safety, uh, Paxos defines uh, three properties and ensures the first two are always held. The first uh, two properties are always uh, satisfied regardless of the pattern of the uh, failures. So the properties are, uh, first property is validity uh, or non-triviality, uh, validity. Uh, validity means only proposed value can be chosen and learn. So it will not uh, uh, learn any value. Uh, this uh, nodes or acceptors will accept uh, the only the proposed value and they will not accept any other uh, value. Uh, then agreement, uh, the next property, no dis two distinct learners uh, can learn different values. Every distinct learner has the, uh, had, will learn the same value, they will uh, not learn the different value so to maintain the consistency of the system it is necessary uh, that the every learner will learn the uh, same values uh, will uh, they will not learn the uh, different values uh, then termination or we can say liveness third property if value c has been proposed uh, then eventually learner l will learn uh, some value uh, so if uh, some value is proposed uh, then learner will learn the sum uh, uh, value uh, if uh, sufficient processor remains non-faulty uh, so non-faulty processors must be greater than the uh, faulty processors and that is the requirement of this Paxos protocol we have studied in the previous uh, slide then uh, we have to study the basic Paxos protocol uh, this basic Paxos protocol is uh, divided into the two phases phase one and uh, phase 2 and each phase consists of two parts part A and uh, part B. Uh, so we will study this uh, phase 1 and phase 2 and each phase has two parts part uh, A and part B. Uh, each instance of the basic protocol decides on it. Uh, what is the um, basic purpose of this Paxos protocol to decide to agree on some single value. Uh, all the acceptors uh, has to agree on some uh, state of the system. Uh, on they will agree, agree on some uh, output value uh, that is the purpose of this uh, basic Paxos uh, protocol that is nothing but the consensus mechanism what is consensus mechanism all the parties all the nodes must agree on some uh, state of the system so here the role uh, the uh, uh, purpose of this Paxos is same uh, to uh, propose some value and all the nodes all the participants will agree on that uh, uh, value uh, that is the purpose of this Paxos protocol. Uh, so first phase uh, is phase one. It is divided into part A and part B. Uh, phase one part A is called prepare part. Uh, so in this uh, prepare uh, part, uh, proposer creates a message. Proposer will create a message which we call a prepare. That uh, uh, Proposed message is called prepare, identified with, with a number n. And the number n must be greater than any number used in any of the previous prepare messages by this proposer. So uh, whatever the messages are proposed uh, by the proposer previously. Uh, so this n number, uh, n number, n which identifies the proposal, uh, that this n must be greater than the uh, previous prepare messages. Uh, by this propo proposer and then it sends the prepare message containing n that will contain a proposal number uh, n uh, then it sends the prepare message containing n to a quorum of acceptors we know that quorum is a group of nodes uh, group of acceptors uh, that will accept the uh, proposal either they accept the proposal or either they reject the uh, proposal and then phase 1b Phase 1b is the promise phase, uh, so any of the acceptors uh, waits for it. Uh, so in this uh, Paxos protocol, acceptors uh, will wait for prepare message uh, from any of the proposers. Uh, if an acceptor receives a prepare message, uh, the acceptor must look at the identified n of the just received uh, prepare message. It has to check 
whether this number has been previously used or not if this previous uh, this number must be greater than the previous uh, uh, proposal yeah. uh, the this is the identifier number and this identifier number n must be greater than the uh, number used for previous for previous proposal uh, so the acceptor will check uh, if uh, uh, there are two cases if n is higher than the every previous proposal uh, number received uh, from any of the proposals uh, by the acceptors uh, then the acceptor must return a message uh, it will return a message promise that means uh, it has accepted that number not proposal but it has accepted the uh, number because that number is not previously used uh, this is the new number and greater than the previous uh, proposal number otherwise uh, if n is less than or equal to any of the previous proposal number uh, received from any of the uh, proposal by the acceptor uh, if this number is already used if it is less than the previous proposal number uh, then acceptor can ignore the uh, received message the acceptor will uh, uh, ignore the message because uh, that proposal number is already used uh, for previous uh, proposal uh, so it, that number cannot be accepted uh, so this is the second uh, uh, b part b part of the phase 1 and then phase 2 phase 2 has two parts accept and accepted uh, you have to understand accept and accepted two parts phase 2 has two parts accept and accepted so phase 2 a is the accept part uh, of this protocol uh, so if a proposal receives a major so uh, in previous phase 1 we have studied that uh, the proposal is prepared with the identifier n that proposal will go to the quorum quorum is nothing but a group of acceptors uh, that uh, group of acceptors will either identify that proposal number or either they reject if that proposal number is previously used and if a proposal receives a majority of promises from a quorum of acceptors uh, if the proposal will receive a majority of majority of promises uh, from a quorum of acceptors it needs to set a value v uh, this value is new value uh, that has to be proposed uh, so it will set a value v uh, to the to its proposal uh, so now we have previous uh, number n proposal number n and we have the this value v uh, that is going to be proposed uh, so the proposer sends an accept message uh, with n and v uh, n is the proposal identifier and v is the new value that is going to be uh, proposed uh, by this acceptors uh, so the proposer sends an accept messages message that will contain value n and v uh, to a quorum of acceptors uh, with the chosen value v uh, for its proposal and the proposal number n uh, so now uh, the acceptors will come again into the picture uh, so the second uh, phase uh, uh, the part b of second phase uh, is accepted uh, so if an acceptor receives an accept message n v n is the proposal number and v is the new uh, proposed value uh, from a proposal uh, it must accept it uh, if and only if it has not already uh, promised uh, to only uh, consider proposals having an identifier greater than n uh, so it will check the identifier uh, uh, of this uh, uh, new uh, proposed value uh, if that identifier is uh, less than the uh, whatever the promise uh, made by the acceptor uh, if that identifier is less than that value and then it has to reject that proposal uh, if that identifier number n is greater than the uh, previous proposal number uh, then it will accept that value if the acceptor has not already promised uh, if the acceptor has not already promised to only consider proposals having an identifier greater than n uh, it should register the value v uh, if the identifier value is greater than the uh, uh, already promised uh, already promised uh, value uh, then it should register the value v new value uh, the new state of the system uh, it has to register that state of the system as the accepted value uh, and send an accepted message uh, to the proposer and every uh, uh, learner so uh, each uh, else uh, if that accept uh, proposed number uh, proposal number is less than the uh, previously used number uh, then it can ignore the accept message 
or uh, request whatever the request is made by the client that request is uh, rejected uh, so this is the uh, paxos protocol that is divided into the two parts uh, so in this paxos protocol there are uh, 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 different roles of the nodes uh, learner uh, then proposer and acceptor uh, there are some roles of the uh, nodes also leader uh, so uh, all the uh, implementation all the implementation of this paxos protocol have don't have this all these roles but there must be a three roles uh, that is uh, the roles uh, of the uh, uh, nodes or processors uh, that must be learner uh, then acceptor and proposer at least there must be three types of nodes in the our uh, system uh, uh, to work this protocol so students in, uh, in this session we will stop here we have studied the paxos protocol uh, in the next session we will study the another protocol that is rft uh, thanks for watching session goodbye